Hello everyone, welcome back to my new episode on Excel tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the array formula in Excel, and what an Excel array is, types of arrays, array conditions, and how we can use an array formula in Excel to simplify the multiple calculations. An array in Excel is a structure that holds a collection of values or items. Arrays can be mapped perfectly to ranges in a spreadsheet, which is why they are so important in Excel. For example, the items or values can be cell values or they can be data held in memory. In the example shown, we can map arrays in three schemes like a horizontal, vertical, and 2D array. Where, horizontal arrays representing single row items, vertical as a column, and the 2D array can be held rows and columns, conditions of an array. First, the array should be represented as a rectangular structure. All of the array elements should be the same types. The array syntax. All arrays in Excel are wrapped in curly brackets, and the delimiter between array elements determines whether elements are horizontal or vertical. A comma represents horizontal arrangement, and a semicolon represents a vertical arrangement while text values in an array appear in double quotes within brackets. Next, we will see how we can represent an array formula. Here I have certain values in one column, since arrays map directly to ranges, I can simply use the sum formula to get the summation. In this case, the trick with arrays is that you need to remember to press Ctrl, Shift, Enter to convert array formula. Now you can see the formula wrapped in the curly bracket. To check what is happening behind the scene, select the ranges in the formula, and press the F9 key from the keyboard. Here, it's obvious the values are held as an array, hence the total sales value can be obtained. But, let's see what if we just press only the Enter key, Then you can see the formula without wrapped in the curly brackets. I hope you have understood the basic representation of array function in Excel. Let's see another example. Here I have a table with daily product sales for each product. Let's try to get the total sales value for this data. In general, we can calculate the sales value for each day individually, and finally can use the sum formula to get the total sales value. This is a two steps calculation. But, what if we have thousands of data, it is quite time consuming, and complex to get it done. In this case, the array function will help us to reduce the multiple calculations to a single formula. Ok, let's see how we can use the array function to get the total sales value with a single formula. So the formula will be, equal, sum, open bracket, select the unit price range which is C3 to C20, then multiplication, and then the range of quantity sold that is D3 to D20, and press Shift, Control and Enter key to complete the formula. Now you can see the total sales value for both methods is the same values. Next, what if I need only the total sales value for the particular product, in this case, we have to use SUMIF function. Please check my previous tutorial on the SUMIF function from the description. First I will use the SUMIF function to get the total sales value for the product A, 1000. So, equal, SUMIF, open bracket, criteria range which is product code, comma, then the criteria will be A, 1000, comma, sum range, then close bracket. Now we have got the total sales for A, 1000 is $5068.7, but this is quite a long calculation if we have thousands of data. Let's see how we can use an array formula instead of this sum if function. So I will use the same formula but including certain criteria for the particular product code. The criteria can be included at the beginning or at the end of the formula by using delimiter as multiplication. 
Here I will include the criteria at the beginning of the formula, hence, open bracket, criteria range which is product code, then equal, then criteria within the double quotation mark. Closed bracket, then multiplication. But remember each time you have to press shift control enter to complete the array function. Now we got the same value from both methods. But, using an array function is a much faster and efficient way to use in Excel. Cool. We have done it for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next week. Thank you for watching, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.